The last topic that we want to discuss, which is discovered in book number two, is that of the intermediary. The intermediary is the person between the insured and the insurer, and is very important as far as the property and casualty market is concerned. Uh, we have independent intermediaries, intermediaries which started somewhere in the 1950s, and by far, in South Africa at least, the bulk of the insurance is placed through intermediaries. Strangely enough, the word intermediary is the word used commonly in the insurance uh, industry, well known in the insurance industry, but it's not a legal term. It doesn't exist in the legal literature. And uh, there was a case which went to court and they tried to convince the court about the intermediary and the court had to point out that it does not exist and it will use the terms which they are familiar with. The more familiar is an agent or a broker an agent has the power to bind his uh, principal and a broker is a go-between. So most insurance is placed via brokers, but when it comes to the actual placing of the insurance, the broker acts as the agent of the insurer to place that uh, insurer. Now, an interesting feature about the insurance broker is the broker has been around for about uh, 400 years, plays an important role during those 400 years, yet strangely, it was not until uh, uh, 1996, in a case called Stunder versus Rubenheimer, that we had the first case in South Africa where a broker was sued, rising to professional liability of a broker. Since then, liability for brokers has developed significantly, about a thousand cases every year now in South Africa uh, against uh, brokers. Clearly, the intermediary is very important and covered in detail in the notes. Now that brings us to a conclusion, and so let me just sum up the situation. These books have been, been created uh, to be used as a public good, that is to be used for training purpose within the insurance industry, freely by everybody in the industry. Uh, the, the plan is that they be developed in conjunction with the industry, in consultation with the industry. We, in preparing these books, we established two committees, one was a general industry committee to look at the principles and then a specialist committee uh, industry to look at each of these aspects in greater detail. The plan is to continue along those lines and these books then become a product for the industry to use to develop its, its expertise and to be developed by the industry and for the industry with the assistance of its university.